How does evolution occur? Does, can evolution occur rapidly? Can animal species evolve new physical structures or behaviors that allow them to survive in novel environments? That is the question that we ask in a tale of islands, lizards, and rapid evolution. In some cases, we know that evolution can occur very rapidly within human lifespans. For example, insects can evolve resistance to pesticides. Guppies, such as these found in Trinidad, can evolve new life history traits in response to occupation environments that have novel predators. However, no studies to this date have shown that animal species can have evolved new physical structures in response to occupation of a novel environment. In 1971, there was an initial transplant of lizards between two islands in the ocean off the shores of Croatia. This was completed initially by Ivitar Nivo and a group of colleagues. In 2004, myself and a group of colleagues were able to revisit these islands and examine whether this initial transplant of lizards was successful and whether this had resulted in any evolutionary modifications of either population. The two islands of Pod Machado, a small island, very rocky and scrubby, and Pod Capiste, a somewhat larger island, we found that one of these transplants was successful, namely the transplant of lizards from Podcopiste to Podmachado. My collaborators were Anthony Harrell, Vika Van Hodonk, Raul Van Dam, and several other collaborators. The two species in question are Podarsis sicula and Podarsis melisolensis. Podarsis sicula was transplanted to Podmachado, and that transplant was successful. There was an original transplant of 10 animals. This was in 1971. And the Podarsis melisolensis was transplanted to Podcapiste, and that transplant was not successful. This is an image of Podcapiste. It's a somewhat larger, more complex island with vegetation and a large uh, body of insects and other animal life. This is Podmachado, a much scrubbier island with very little vegetation and insect life. When we went back in 2004 we, and we went to Padmachado, the island where the transplant was successful, we found very large numbers of lizards. The only question was whether or not these animals, which numbered in several thousand, had come from the original 10 animals that were put on the island back in 1971. And in fact, genetic testing showed that these lizards on Padmachado are descendants from the original transplants from Podcopiste. Interestingly, these lizards had shifted to a plant-based diet on their new island, whereas these lizards were originally on their ancestral island, primarily insectivorous, and only consuming a very small amount of plant matter. On the new island, they largely shifted to a diet of plant matter, while they still maintained a smaller diet of arthropods. This is a radical shift that is very rarely seen in most lizard species. Most interestingly, however, the lizards evolved larger heads, harder bites, and a new intestinal structure called a cecal valve. The larger heads and harder bites probably evolved to allow these animals to consume the much tougher and more fibrous plant matter, whereas the new intestinal structure actually allowed these animals to digest and process the new plant matter. We believe this is a quite remarkable demonstration of the novel evolution of a new physical structure and shows that evolution can not only occur rapidly, it can result in the evolution of new physical structures that allow animals to occupy novel environments.